hello everyone and welcome to my channel i hope you're all doing great uh, if you're new here uh, my name is angelica and i create videos about lifestyle home decor and diy projects every single week so if you're interested in these topics please subscribe to my channel and stay with me for longer so today it will be slightly different video i won't be actually creating any new projects I will be sharing some tips, hacks and techniques about air drying clay. So, so far I created quite a few different projects using air drying clay. I will link all these videos in the description box if you want to go and check them out. So yeah, during the process of working with air drying clay, I actually learned a few different techniques or tips. Uh, I found out what works better for me, how to use this clay. So yeah, I decided to collect all of them uh, and basically I got 10 different tips for you, which I'm gonna go through one by one and explain you. So first of all, I'm not an expert in air drying clay or modeling. I usually do quite simple projects using hair dry clay, but I thought even with easy projects, it's good to know like the basics which help you go through this process, make, make this work more joyful and easier. So the clay I usually use in my projects is this dust clay in a white color. I usually paint it anyway, that's why I go for white color. It's about six pounds uh, online or in stores. I will leave the link uh, in the description box if you want to purchase one of them. Uh, that's the only clay I work with. Uh, I know there is many others. I haven't tried them yet, so all my experience will be with this clay. And my first tip. Uh, is before you actually start doing anything with the clay is to protect your surface, table or any other place you're gonna work on. And the air drying clay is quite a dirty product to work with. So if you uh, don't put any paper or any protection on your table, it might leave some marks or like a stains. So what I usually do, uh, I just put some greaseproof paper, it's like a baking paper. Uh, mine is actually white, I know there's like a brown one. To protect your surface, I usually put it flat on my table and put some uh, tapes in the corner so it stays nice and secure. And what's good other thing about this, that's the the surface of it is quite silky, so it's much easier to remove your clay from the table as well, rather than just from the rough surface of your table. Another thing before you start working with the clay is to don't put any fancy clothes on just in case you're gonna get dirty. Just put some old t-shirt, whatever, you don't mind if it gets dirty. And the other thing what is good to have next to you is damp cloth. So when you work with the clay, your hands get dirty and the clay on your hands dry out so quickly. So then it's quite hard to like to work with the clay again. So it's nice to have like a damp cloth next to you and just clean your hands from time to time. And for tip number two, let's talk about painting painting the clay always make sure the clay is fully dry before you start putting the paint on it and the paint i usually go for is acrylic paint any basic acrylic paint in your favorite color it works very well covers really nicely especially on the white clay but always remember to let the layer of the paint fully dry before applying another one it's air drying clay, so and obviously acrylic paint is water-based, so your sculpture, the object, starts absorbing the water from the paint. So you have to let it fully dry, and then you can apply second or third layer, depending 
how good the coverage is. And for applying the paint of my clay, I usually use just normal brushes. If you want to create like a smaller details on your projects, you can always use permanent markers like Sharpie or something like that. Mm, it's just probably easy to work with the pen rather than with the, the brushes. So that's another option for you to, to decorate paint or draw on the clay. So this pack, which I've got, is actually one kilo of the clay. One kilo of the airdrain clay is quite a lot. Um, so once I finish with my project and I got some leftovers, I never throw them away and you shouldn't throw it away. Uh, it's really easy to keep it nice and fresh and moist for long. Only what you have to do is to wrap it in the original packaging or if you throw it away use like the um, kitchen foil and then put it to tight sealed bag or like a container something where more air won't come in because as we know the air drying clay dries out on the air so we don't want to allow any air to come inside the container or the bag and trust me i left my clay for months in like like back like that and after that it was absolutely fine it was still good to work with was nice and soft so if you do some projects when you have to cut out some pieces never throw them away just take them together knead them together and put them to a tight sealed bag and they will be just fine And another tip is just to use the tools around your house. Uh, I know there is so many different kit sets you can buy for, for working with the clay and I even might get one like that one day. But for now, I just work with what I got around my house. Uh, if you don't have rolling pin, can or a jar will work just fine if you want to cut some shapers out you don't need like a special knife just go to your kitchen see which knife you don't really use anymore and which is sharp enough take it and use it if you want to cut some shapes just look around your house see when you can find like a circle different shapes of course you can buy cutters and I think it's always good to have stuff like that but let's say if you don't have budget at the moment for it to spend but you want to do some projects i'm sure it will be fine just look around your house and i'm sure you'll find the tools you need and tip number five water is your friend so when you're working with air drying clay have some pot with water next to you uh, the water brings the softness back to the clay so if any the, the first layer or surface it start drying out but you want to fix it a bit take some water you can use sponge you can use your uh, finger tips just to smooth it out yeah it's always good to have the water next to you uh, it also helps you to connect two separate parts together i will talk about that in another tip but yeah if you want to, to connect two parts together always put water in between and like to finish your project so if you want to smooth the edges out or overall the surface take some water like on the sponge or just go around and smooth it out or it the same if you got some uh, like a smaller pieces of clay lying around which are a bit dry already you can even take this piece put it to the water for a few seconds knead it and will be nice and soft again and tip number six will be about a drink and preventing from cracking. As I said before, a drink clay contains water. So when you're leaving it to dry, the water evaporates and clay shrinks. Yeah, it becomes slightly smaller than it was before. That's when the, the cracks appear. So to prevent any cracking on your project, you have to let it dry evenly what does it mean you can't really put it next to the radiator you would thought oh i put it next to radiator it will just dry quicker 
It might dry quicker, but I'm sure there will be some cracking, as the way it stands next to radiator, the heat comes only from one side. The same on the windowsill, when the sunshine comes, it only comes on the one side of your object, so the other one stays wet when the other one dries out and that comes to two cracks to appear so the best place actually to keep your clay and let it dry is cool room like a room temperature is the best not too hot not too cold with good airflow so it will just nicely dry all around your object when i do projects obviously depending how thick it is how big it is but usually it takes from 48 hours to 72 hours to fully dry and as I said before always make sure it's fully dry before you start applying uh, some paints or varnishes on it but if it happens and there is some cracks on your project that's not the end of the world don't throw it away yet we can always fix it good thing about the air dry clay is that it works very well with the water so if you got any cracked on your project stay small piece of new clay make it super wet and just fill the gap the crack any uneven surfaces same just uh, wet your clay put it over and smooth it out and again leave it to fully dry so once your project is ready, uh, painted, decorated and you're happy with the result, it's time to protect it. Uh, what I usually use is Mod Podge in gloss. I really like the shiny effect, but obviously if you prefer matte, you can always use the matte. Uh, I like the gloss because then it looks like a, a real ceramic and the glaze all over it, especially if you play with few layers of the Mod Podge. But if you don't have Mod Podge, you can always use some varnish uh, in the spray. Just yeah, go outside and spray it a couple of times. So air drying clay is not food safe. Uh, it's obviously something more for decorations. Uh, you can use it in your kitchen or you can't put any really food on it. Um, so yeah, you can easily use Mod Podge or varnish on it and it's safe for you. So let's talk about the situation when you have two separate pores or two ends uh, to connect. Uh, as I said before, it's always good to use the water. But before you use the water, what I usually do is I create a little cuts all the way when I wanted to connect two parts, usually on two sides. Uh, with the knife, I just go with the knife, create like a small cut, and then I put the water and stick these two parts together. And that creates like they, they just like stick much stronger together. It's like the clay goes in between the other part, and once it's dry, it's really good. You can't, you 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 can't say that it's two parts together, especially if you smooth the connection uh, together nicely. It looks like one piece. And the last tip, which I really like to use, is to emboss some patterns on the clay or used molds. There is so many different things you can use to create like a nice pattern on your clay. Uh, I used to use like a little stamps with the letter or you can use like a um, lace fabric. You just put it flat on the clay then roll it slowly on the top of it and the, the pattern of the fabric will just transfer onto the clay. Other thing you can use is molds. Um, probably air drying clay is not the best for the silicon molds uh, because as I said before it shrinks but what I usually do uh, I fill it up leave it for about 15 minutes then take it out, out slowly and just let it dry like that and then I just cut the edges around I'll probably do some videos about it because I, I didn't show it before but it's really fun working with clay and molds you can create such a beautiful things okay that will be it that was my 10 tips hacks techniques on air drying clay uh, i hope you enjoyed and found it helpful especially if you are new to air drying clay i recommend to watch this video first before you start 
any projects. As I said before, these all tips are from my own experience, which I use and found helpful. But if there is anything else I should know or you would like to share with me, leave the comment down below. I will really happy to read it and find out more, as I really like working with air drying clay. So if there is any other ways or tricks or techniques I can use, it will be much appreciated. But yeah, if you like this video, give it a big thumb up. I will really appreciate it. Uh, as I said before, I will link the other videos in my description box with some air drying clay projects. So after now, after knowing all the tricks and techniques, you can go and do some crafts. So thank you so much for watching and your support. And I will see you in my next video.